welcome to another one of our videos, I'm Worm, this is The Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, another review on a dripper that we did buy when Mr. Proton bought. Indubitably. From Fastech. From Snowtech.yourface. <laughs> Fastech. <laughs> Fastech.com. There we go. We are doing the M6 uh, dripping atomizer, or as I said, it repairable electronic cigarette atomizer. So it's an M6 dripper, basically, is what we are doing. Um, price is, let me just double confirm this because I'm useless. Basically, guys, it's a knockoff of the Zeus, which is a it very it? good clone of the A7, basically. It isn't it? I mean, £3.64. I mean, it doesn't really look like a Zeus, does it? But the setup is exactly the same as a, um, a Zeus is an A7 setup two posts, screws, holster posts, airflow yeah, from underneath, channel. So, we thought worth a shot, definitely, for. Um, Three pounds sixty four p. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd get it and try just in case it does stack up to a Zeus kind of level of vaping, which we thought why not? They've got and when I ordered this, this is a blue sort of clear translucent drip tip, but it, it was shown as an alley one, wasn't it? quite a light blue alley one. Um, but they've got several colours now. The only difference is your drip tip. Everything else remains the same. So you get your preference, but don't I don't think you should expect an alley one, although that's what's shown because we did and. It's a blue translucent one. Either way, I'm not sorry because I don't care less about the drip tip. It was about the device. The drip tip was just a bonus, to be honest with you. I use my own usually. Um, we are going to re this one. I'm going to re this one for, actually for you. Yep. Um, I think what we'll do, is, I think we're going to sort of tend to do this from now on, which is just basically get the re out of the way um, and then do a flap on the other side of it. If all you want to see is a re -wick, it'll come up for you now. Otherwise, on the other side, it's a flapping. Um, so I think we'll go and do that now, um, and then we'll come back up and have a monumental flap. Indeedly. Indeedly. Right guys, this is the M6 uh, Dripper Rewick. This is it as it comes, um, as all from Fast Tech basically, so a little close up on it, I don't know if I make that out, it should be fine. Um, if you're familiar with the Zeus, <laughs> then you're probably going to be pretty much familiar with this. Drip tip was included, which is pretty cool. Some kind of unscrew the body. Uh, that's your chamber. It's quite big, but it is what it is. Um, and then, oh god, I'm off camera. Sorry, guys. And then this is your uh, deck, basically. This, like the Zeus, unscrews all the way. Uh, a Zeus and A7 for that fact. Um, but it's a bit. It's a little bit bigger than a Zeus, not by loads, but it is a, a touch bigger than a Zeus. Um, and it gives you your positive and negative. Um, one thing to point out quickly, guys, uh, over the Zeus is that this. Is a spring loaded centre pin which I think is awesome. Um, downside, very quickly as well, is that these posts are flathead, mini flathead screws. Uh, we've got this little screwdriver from Fast Tech for like, I think it was 70 pence for, for, two. for two, so it's not a major deal, but that is what it is. So basically, I'm just going to loosen these off to make sure we've got plenty of room to play with when it comes to sticking our wick in, um, which I believe we are basically there now. So that is where we're going to wrap our coil. Um, obviously air fed from the bottom um, like the Zeus is and the A7. Uh, what I've got here is some, what is this, 3mm silica um, and some pre-flamed 30 gauge can uh, I've been using this recently, kind of getting on with it. So that's what I'm rolling with. Uh, and basically it's a simple, normal procedure guys. Just literally wrap your coil as you would. Um, yeah, just, just be aware guys, uh, when you do buy this, this drip tip over here was like a metallic shine one, it, but it come through as a plastic one, so it, we're not sure what one you get with it, it's just, I think it's a bit of randomness from them, it's just basically whatever they've got to hand, but it did come as a blue drip tip, which is what he wanted anyway, so... There you go, or well, to be honest, when I ordered it, the only one they had on there was the blue one, they now have got several colours. Um, with this, only things you really need to point out is one north and one south on the uh, positives, and that your coils, unless you're wrapping several coils, your coils can be really, really nice and far apart um, because of how wide these posts are. It's exactly the same procedure as Zeus A7 that we're going to end up basically. Oh, where are we going? Uh, we're not going that way, are we? We're going that way. We're going to end up with. Oh, no, we're not. We're going that way. Damn it. We're going, <laughs> right, we're going, <laughs> we're going like that, guys. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if you can make that out. That's how we're going. All right, so basically this one is going to go through this post and this lead is going to go through this post. So basically it's a simple case of shaky hands and not being able to do what I'm hoping to. Sorry guys, I shouldn't have left these leads so long. One literally slips through there. Um, this, I used to be absolutely fine with re-wicking these and recently I've been struggling like a mother. 
so no doubt I'll struggle now this is the problem part because you bend that over you then pull this through oh, hello. I, I think part of the problem that we used to have is we used to do these with like 32 gauge and it's kind of a it's a more flexible wire than, than the uh, 30 gauge and the 28 gauge that we've been re using recently and when you do get a knot in the 30 and the 28 when you try to put it, it just doesn't give it at all. It doesn't try and slide through or nothing. It just goes, nope, I'm nope. not going nowhere. Having none of it, <laughs> basically. Let me just try that again. Basically, what happened there is I got a kink in it. It tried to roll over on itself, and it resulted in me having to pull it back out again. And obviously, the problem is with these legs is that these are actually attaching to your... This is actually your coil. It's not gone horribly. Pull that tight. Pull that tight. I'll worry about the rest once it's in, basically. So that is glare on the screen let me see if I can cover this light up a little bit hopefully you can make that out guys maybe not but that is what we've ended up with so now it's basically just a simple case it's the same as with a DDA with an A7 all that kind of stuff you just screw your post down I have noticed with this like the Zeus and the A7 these screws unlike a lot of drippers UD stuff in particular are quite forgiving if you screw these down um, quite tight it's not as inclined to snap your wires as like the IGO W is for example so you can go a little bit happier with these and you won't be quite as worried about breaking it and starting it all again um, so basically I've just screwed those down simple stuff basically just a little bit of tension and a twist pretty used to this stuff now guys if you're watching our videos regularly I'll then typically just pull it up slightly off of Sorry guys, no, I've just gone camera. Put it up slightly off of the, the centre post, obviously, because you don't want it negative now on that. Space the coils out a bit. I don't worry too much about them because they always seem to work fine. I don't know if you can see the gap there between the coil and the uh, airflow post. Um, and then you literally grab this uh, bottom body part, screw that back down. These are knurled as well, which it, aesthetically, I think you're either going to like it or you're not. Um, I'm kind of... I'm in the region of not as much, I'd rather it be a sort of finished body, but it does make sort of unscrewing it and stuff a little bit easier, so it does at least serve some kind of practical purpose. I'm nearly there. Then just literally screw it all the way down, which is quite deep actually, you get a very, very deep uh, well there. I'm going to bang this on the SVD. I'd imagine that this is going to be um, 1.1, 1 1.2, something like that, but we shall see. 0.9, lovely, that's better than expected. Um, <laughs> this is how I roll guys it's how I like my coils, I like them low uh, then it's just a little snip here uh, one side slightly longer than the other so I will trim that down just a touch one there and one there uh, and then I typically just use me little fast tech screwdriver for 70 pence or 35p if you include the fact there was two of them um, and tuck my wicks in yeah guys, just bear in mind that this is obviously a clone of the Zeus, which is a clone of the A7 pretty much. And uh, as they seem to have gone slightly bigger, you're talking about like 6 to 8 drops on the, the A7, you're look, looking at 8 to 12 drops on the Zeus, and you're looking at about 10 to 15 drops on this thing. I think Mr. Pratt was at up to 18 in this thing, and it was just about fine. It was a slight gurgle at the beginning, like you get with the Baron, and then it was gone. There you go, and I don't know if you can see that, make that out, guys, from all the way down here, but we are get a reflection of this bloody camera and there we go we are lighting up quite nicely so that is how you wick it obviously guys depending on what resistance you're after you're going to have to use your relevant wires um, personally I like sub iron coils I like how they feel I like how they run on mechanicals it's just that's just my thing though guys do whatever you're used to so had you done the same on this with 32 gauge which is four wraps three one side and four the other you would have ended up with about 1.5. Probably about 1.5 to 1.7, um, and obviously the higher you go, the higher resistance you're going to get. The lower you go, the lower. Um, but around sort of 0.8 to 1.2 is where I like to sit on these strippers. I just think they perform quite well. Um, then just give it a nice tight screw. I've given it a nice tight screw then, basically, because um, I've rammed it full of wick. Um, had you been a bit more sparing with a the wick, then you would have uh, been all right. But that's your centre pin sort of just protruding out there. But it will go completely flush so it's nice not to have to adjust center pins on mods um drip tip yeah it's okay but that is a rewick of the m6 just a simple case of priming it and we'll go up and have a vape so we'll see you in a second hi guys welcome back up that was obviously the uh, m6 rewicking by mr proton uh we're gonna 
I'm going to prime this one and uh, prime it. Is it, is it primed? No. No? No, I'm literally just. What have we got? Uh, let's put a sexy beach in it. Sexy bitch. Sexy beach. Um, so it's, as you've seen the video, guys, four reps, 30 gauge can bowl, three mil bit of silica. It's exactly the same as the set apart from the um, the flatted screws, basically. It's the only difference. And I don't doubt for a second that we haven't tried, but I don't doubt there are several screws from several 80s that will fit in there. Um, I might try some of the cheaper sort of Phoenix rebuildables we bought from Fast Tech that are pretty wank um, and try and see if them Phillipses fit. <laughs> What? <laughs> pretty wank. <laughs> they are pretty wank. Um, so yeah, I might see if some of them will fit in there just because I would prefer a Phillips setup. Um, nothing against flatheads, I just don't like them. Um, the <laughs> they're not hard, they're, Races against flatheads. They're harder to use, aren't they, to be honest with you. Um, a small, I mean, yeah, them little screwdrivers are from Fast Tech, they're wicked. I mean, you've got uh, an Allen key top and bottom, you've got... Um, a flathead and a, a, a micro flat and a micro Phillips. It's just Phillips are always. It's easy to just go plonk and turn it with flathead. You have to, have to pay attention, and that's something that I suffer with greatly. Um, as you see in the video, 0.9 ohms, which is always good. Um, uh, uh, what we've got in there, sexy beach. So it's a 12 milligram strength, for sexy beach. It's a, a juice that Worms quite familiar with in his Zeus. Um, so that's what we kind of bought this to compare to. Again, no guys, rebuildable, it's only going to stack up to the core that you put in it, whatever core you put in it, it's going to dictate how it performs. I'd imagine that's going to be a bit harsher than what you're used to being a lower. I'd say that you've been using that kind of resistance core in this area here. Take that right back. Um, but yeah, so basically this can give us a sort of a true gauge of the flavour and whatever else. Um, some of the specs on it, it's, it's stated as chrome dip brass and stainless steel. Now, the only bit of that that I think is stainless steel is the deck that them posts are attached to. Everything else, the outside is, is chrome dip brass. Um, for three pounds sixty four, I wasn't expecting anything more than that to be honest with you. But a lot of the stuff is chrome dip brass nowadays, and it, it's not a, a bad thing. Um, Sixteen mil, okay, wide. So with with your, it, it's basically Zeus size. It's slightly bigger than the Zeus to hold slightly bigger than the Zeus. It's, it's slightly heavier than the Zeus, but it is there thereabouts. Um, 33 mil long without a drip tip, okay, it's as dimples as that. Mm. So it's a little bit flooded, but um it's actually quite good. It really is. I mean that uh, spring base uh, centre pin that you'd have to adjust because it's obviously a spring works out a treat. Doesn't you don't seem to get any kind of like variance on uh, the ohm detection, it seems to be the same no matter how much you screw into the vice or how little you screw into the vice. So Top thumbs up on that, especially for like three pound odd on, on a dripper. You know, we, we didn't expect that. We don't get that on the Zeus that you get an adjustable one you have to do with a screwdriver, which isn't great. Let's be honest, it kind of falls out and we yeah, lost it a few it, times, haven't we? That's that centre pin was the Zeus. I mean, although we got this because it's basically like a Zeus, I don't class this as a Zeus clone. I don't. It's just it's designed in a way a lot of. Because if we want to be technical, the first at to be designed in a way that said that with a pin set up before the Zeus and the A7 was the Phoenix. Yeah. So I mean I don't I mean the setup's the same, I'm not classing this as a clone. It's not like the Baron is just done. It's a clone of the setup but it's not actually a clone of the device sort of thing. It's just the same setup. Yeah, it? it really is, but um it vapes just as good as the Zeus, it does. It's just cheaper. And it's got that better center pin, in my honest opinion. The fact that I don't have to adjust it, it's it adjusts it itself with a spring, perfect. It means I have to faff around with Worrying about if it's going to fall out when I unscrew it too much, or if I tighten it up too much, it's going to push the coil or anything up up inside it. I don't want to damage any of the screw threads, obviously, at the same token, because obviously it is a hollow screw on the actual Zeus, same as it is on the A7. But this being just a spring based thing just works out perfect. It seems to hold its own in a class of its own, basically. So it's, um, it's a really good dripper, plus, you can hold more juice in this. It's like, what, 15 drops? And you're looking at just about flooding it? Easy, yeah. I mean, that's drops off of that bottle as well, yeah. and them drops are big. So, if your standard sort of, if you was using one of them hand single decaying sort of needle nose bottles, you, 20 drops, easy. Yeah. Easy 20 drops. It's a lot of juice in the dripper. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it performs like a Zeus for, what, a third of the price? Yeah. I mean, the Zeus's are on special at the minute, like nine quid, and they. Yeah. I mean, but even nine quid is still sort of that price. Isn't it? I mean, with the Zeus, the drip tip on the Zeus, although it looks like it's just a sort of standard drip tip, it's like, it's like a ceramic drip tip. So it is, yeah. drip tip's better. Um, it's all stainless steel the Zeus, whereas this is chrome dip brass. But to be honest, I think we're beyond the point when it comes to this kind of purchase 
that you're worried about it not being stainless steel or you're worried about it being chrome dip brass. You're, you're paying three pounds. You you're looking for how it performs basically. And if it performs as well as the nine pound equivalent, you can buy three of these. I mean, effectively, the reason, I mean, the actual price of Zeus stand is like 15 quid, basically. And don't be wrong, it's worth 15 quid all day long. It really is. The Zeus is Very well still our, our, our high, or my anyway, I think you're going to agree, though, highest rated piece of vaping equipment yeah. that there is. Um, I use it pretty much every day. Yeah. There isn't a day where I don't use it. If it needs recording, it's one of the first devices that you instantly get recorded. It's not like I sit down and say, I can wait a few days before I change it out and go whatever. So much so that the Zeus and A7 is what we test our juices in. It's yeah. what we do juice reviews in because it is the best dripper that we've come across. It's the best flavour, it's the best vapour. It's just all round and it well, isn't. But barring the barren, yes, but. For reusability, yes, the A7 and that. Because obviously the rewicking on that is obviously just press for iron. Takes five seconds to rewick, especially with us now. It's literally mm -hmm. we know exactly how much wick. We don't have to measure it no more. It's literally we know where we got to cut it. We know how much wick we need, uh, how much wire we need. And it There's basically no wastage with us apart from the little tails you cut off of the wire. Yeah. The, I mean the reason one of the reasons why we've been intrigued by these Zeus setup devices is because we were looking for a nice, simple, cheap um, dripping a that we could use in our juice reviews because we didn't want to have to go out and buy it five or six Zeus's each and lay ourselves out a best part of 160 quid between the two of us yeah. just to do these juice reviews, all right? Because basically the way we work at the minute is we've got an A7 and a Zeus, rewick, juice, rewick, juice, blah, 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 and it can get quite tedious when someone's sending you through 15 juices. Yeah. Um, so that was our main intention was to try and find something that performed as well as a Zeus that we was happy with consistency-wise as a Zeus. Um, which is why we're ordering so many drippers from Vastek. It's literally loud cars and say, well, that's why we're doing it. We've got it. literally like about, well, between 11 us, of these. 11 of Yeah, we've, we've actually yeah, we've ordered a lot of these. I've got six because obviously he's already got this one. And then to be able to have six together, it means we can rewick 12 devices, do 12 juices, straight hit out, just swap over the device every time. Indeed. that's That was basically our intention for this. Um, should we get onto our five point little hitter and, yeah. we'll, and we'll have a little flap on the other side of it? Looks. Except for the gnarling, which I'm not overly impressed about on the side, it does look alright. I mean, it, it looks worse in the picture because it looks big and clunky, but when you get it on the device, it's actually quite nice. It, it still it, looks big there, but I mean... It, it's not like... Compared to, yeah, compared to like, fatal bottle of juice, it's not... As, I mean, it's chunky, but guys, we show you this stuff on video, and no matter what we do, it still looks big. <laughs> all right? it's, it's, it's not just as not, bad as it looks. All right? It just isn't, and... Um, I don't mind how it looks. I don't love it by any any long stretch of the word, but for what we're going to use it for, juice reviews, it's perfect for us. Um, yeah, so it looks, barring the nylon, if, if it was completely flush, it would be like a 9.5, but because of that nylon, it's just, it'd be nice to have some on there, of course, for the grip for when you're taking it on and off, but it just, it's, I think it's overkill on there at the moment, and um, I'm going to give it an 8 for looks. Sorry guys, I am dripping. Um, for me, so I'm, it's a bit of a difficult one. Um, the knurling, it serves a purpose, okay, it does. It, it, and this one, it has got quite a nice amount of thread in it. You can screw it in quite tight, it feels very secure. So it does serve a purpose, it makes doing it and doing it easy. I like things that serve a purpose. All right, I'd rather it be there and actually have a reason for being there than just being there for aesthetics and looking wank. Um, Got thing wank I have. <laughs> um, to be honest, for me though, it's more the seed thing at the top. I'm not a big fan of. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of that. I mean, the nerdy I can kind of live with. Um, out of the box, you get to choose your drip, your colour, I suppose, and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm, I, it's, it's slightly harsh, but the main reason being is because it's not as good looking as a Zeus's. And yeah. I, again, I've not seen this as a Zeus clone. The body is nothing like a Zeus's. All right, but. That's kind of what we bought this to compare to, because that's what we want it to be like. Right. Um, so I'm going to give it a seven overall for looks, but I think it's still a good-looking device, and it does depend on what you put it on. I, mean, I don't think it looks bad on that with a, a relevant drip tip. We're only putting this drip tip in it because that's what we got it's it with. Yeah. Usually we and uh, put our own one in there, um, but with a relevant drip tip, it does look better. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, and on certain devices, that it blends better. I mean, an ego with one of the mini plimps, it probably looked pretty good. It's a 16 mil. Um, you can make it look as good as you want it to, but that's what you've got to work with. So, yeah. seven for me on looks. Um, usability. Usability is the same as any other dripper. You drip the juice, you activate your device, and you're good to go, pretty much. The only other bit of usability is maybe when you first get it, 
you're going to have to re-wick it because the call that comes in is pony. Oh, it was a ridiculous. <laughs> it was a ridiculous call for a dripper. It didn't even have any towels that went into the body. No. It was literally just a bit of what a wick that big, and it was. What it was it, basically like an evil wick. It can't, it can't have been more than one point five mil wick. One piece of it with like nine wraps around it. It was just redonkulous. It was a stupid coil and wick. Um, other than that, I mean, usability is same as any other dripper. It's a ten. There is no like no res wire. It's just res wire. Wrap the wire around your coil. Slap it in. Activate the device with some juice on it. Ten. I agree. If you can rubric a Zeus, you can rubric this. So that the setup is exactly the same. I'm going, you actually, know, I'm going to knock it down to 9.5 purely because they're flat screws. That is the only reason. Um, but again, I reckon you can replace them. But it, 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 it doesn't necessarily make it any harder to actually get your coil in there, but it's securing it. You have to pay more attention. And to be honest, we tend to do things quite quickly, especially with this kind of setup because we are using Zeus as an A7. We're so used to it. Pretty much do it with our eyes closed now. Um, and that does, that's the one thing I find that slows me down, is having to go, oh god, do you know what I mean? It's not as easy as just going, eh, there's a, it's there's a, a, personal a, thing, there's a cross head around here somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is, it's totally a personal thing. Yeah. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's as easy as Zeus is basically, so there you go. I don't think praise really gets any higher than that, it's a standard dripper setup. Maintenance on this, you've got, except for the, the flatter screws that come out, you've got like three pieces that basically detach, you've got the top and the bottom, and you've got the inside that unscrews out of the body. Which is obviously to help you rework and get your coils in there easier. So, plus for that anyway. But maintenance is this: you just wash your body out, put a new coil in. If you're used to coiling, it's a ten easy. If this is going to be your first dripper, you're still looking at a nine. It's just it's an it's an easy rebuildable. It really is. It's literally you cannot go wrong with this thing. And if it does go wrong, you wrap you just rip that coil out and put a new one in. Done job. Ten well ten to nine, depending on if you're new to or a veteran. Depends on your experience. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it. I mean, yeah. I mean, maintenance. It is. It's three parts. You just rinse them all. That's all you have to do. Unless you've used a really pungent juice, in which case you might have to get some soap and a bit of scrubbing involved. But barring that, it's just a standard clean for a uh, for a dripper. Um, it's not the easiest um, dripper to rewick because I think the DDA is easier. To be honest with you, but then that's why we said that's probably the best dripper for people to start on. Yeah. All right. I mean. It's, it's as easy as any other dripper that uses holes through posts and screws and whatever else it is. It's as easy as that. Just put a new coil in it, that's your maintenance. Wash it and coil, wash and coil. It's a, it's a 10. It is a 10 maintenance yeah. for this as a dripper. Um, flavor vapor on this thing, like we, well, we said it earlier on, well, I, I did kind of divulge on it a little bit. And, um, flavor and vapor is the same as, as Zeus, it's comparable. It's, it may be slightly blow, blow it, but you're talking like the difference between the Zeus and the Baron, which is like. A, mi a mil of difference in terms of like how you're thinking. if you're talking like a V3 is over here and like you got a dripper over here and then you got like the three drippers that we got like you got the Baron here right, very just nudging in front <laughs> then you got the Zeus and how, then you got this thing how has this become a practical demonstration I don't know but it is <laughs> like, literally these three are just they're literally touching each other this is just below the Zeus but it is very very close and it's, it's really good, it really is. For three pounds, you're getting three of these for the same price as the Zeus. You've got three of them to do, and you ain't got to rework them as often. Um, flavor vapor, to be honest with you, I, I agree to an extent. I kind of I don't agree that it's less than a Zeus, to be honest with you. I've used this enough now, I've used it quite a bit with can side by side with my A7, and I've used this juice in your Zeus. It tastes the same to me, it tastes exactly the same. Um, I'm going to give it tens for flavor vapor. I just, it, it was similar to the JUK23 Baron Wannabe. Um, it's three pounds sixty-four, and you're hitting you're hitting a device that costs fifteen quid native before discounts, which we consider to be hitting basically a device that costs forty quid. All right, it's kind of a knock-on. It's an, an amazing vape for three pounds sixty-four. You can even I think you can even get a wick from Fast Tech, can't you? Yeah. So you can even get a fuck. Uh, uh, a couple of minutes. <laughs> you can get a couple of minutes of wick from um, Fast Tech as well to give it your first go, and you just need some canthal. You don't do don't do that on Fast Tech though, which is the only downside. I wish you could order it all in one and be ready to go. Um, yeah, flavor over me is a ten straight away. Ten. No, it is a ten. I'm just saying. It, it just feels to me, it's just not quite pushing what I can on a, a Zeus. But maybe it's just because. We haven't we wicked this a lot, and it's maybe a slightly different change to like where the core's got to go or anything. Do you, do you, know, do you want to know what I think that is? To be honest, what? my coil. I think it's you, we we vape each other's devices a lot, but we wrap coils differently. Yeah, I wrap coils different to how Worm does, and Worm's very finicky, 
kind of meticulous. I'm like, yeah, that's done. <laughs> um, and it, to be honest with you, I'm comfortable doing it my way, Will's comfortable doing it his way. I, I think this slight difference is probably down to the fact that this is one of my calls and not one of his. It probably is, but at the moment, I can only give you a review on what I'm tasting at the moment. At the moment, it, it, it's, don't get it wrong, it is a Zeus vape, it's just not quite. It's not a Zeus. No, no, it's, 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 it's no, that's so what I'm saying. Close. It's a Zeus vape, but it's not a Zeus. No, no, it? but, no, no, but like, if you compare it, it's like that's what we're trying to get hit on, which is basically our standard form. No, 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 no. Like, it's not a Zeus. It's not what you're used to. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I don't know. I'm dripping like a bitch. <laughs> He's going for the juice hard. Sexy beach. <laughs> um. uh, overall, it's a 10. I, I, I don't want to divulge in too much into this because it's cheap, it performs like a higher end device, which which that device performs like an even higher end device, and this is three pounds. It's getting ridiculous now. Yeah, so it's a it's an easy easy ten. Um, yeah, it is it's, it is an easy ten. I am going to divulge into it a little bit more than moments too because I don't care. Um, if this, to be honest with you, if this body was stainless steel and they charged a few quid more for it on fast tech, ideal. If this had this nerdy, nerdy weren't there and it was strawberry, strawberry teeth, but the same shape and it's just whatever design they wanted to do on it and it was stainless steel, um, I'd actually say it was an improvement over the Zeus. That is, you've got more capacity for juice, you've got an adjustable centre pin. Unlike the Zeus, when you do screw that bottom section out to put your coil in, the Zeus doesn't do it as bad as my seven does, but they both still do it. The posts will unscrew on you, and then you screw them back up, and the holes went in the same place. And now you've got to do this with your coil and put it through at times. It's not something that isn't easily rectified by you paying attention, but it is something that you go, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> it is. It, it, I will do it regularly with my A7. Worm sits there and watch me. So literally, my coil has to go in and come back round on itself because I'm really invested in the in the bloody wick itself. It's just like, oh my dear God. I haven't had that with this. Um, there are. In this device, there are improvements over what we class as our best stripper anyway. The, 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 the spoon loader centre pin, we didn't know it came with that. There was nothing on there that told you it came with that. But we got it, and our, we didn't even notice it to start with. It wasn't until I actually went, hold on a minute, that's spring loaded. That's an amazing feature. I, don't, I think for people using egos and stuff, you're not going to appreciate this um, anywhere near as much as we do because most of our mods now have adjustment in them um, and juice on them um, adjustment in them <laughs> it's his uh, most of our mods have, have adjustment in them for you to flush mount devices so the flush mount in A7 Zeus kind of thing hasn't been an issue um, but going back had the Zeus had this it would have saved us and the A7 so much aggro yeah. it really would have and I think that's an amazing feature and I think everything should have it now yeah. um, the only thing downside of this is it doesn't look quite as good as the Zeus and it's made of cheaper materials barring that it's an improvement on it, so I can't, it's kind of way well, up. Yeah, it is way well, up, and then you factor in price, and this wins. I'm afraid it does. Personally, if I was buying one of them to use every day, all day, every day, I'd buy the Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> I would, um, because it looks better, because it's made better. It's better isn't but it? I'd like the features of this on that Zeus. I really would, especially yeah, that. I think pin. if the Zeus come with that adjustable, that spring loaded centre pin, mm. the Zeus would smash this. It just would because. It is just better. But then it would still be one of them because yeah. of the price of this. this it's, it, it's ridiculous. You're going around in circles with everything you buy. There's a amount of clones and like knockoffs and replicas and changes of the device, but the same thing, but it's not the same thing. They kind of use the same schematic and built off of it. So it's, it's hard to say replica for this or any... I mean, it's getting... No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, they could have just got like the idea of using the center post and the air hole from the bottom and gone, oh, we're going to this. I, said, I, I, I think it's got to point, I don't even know if that's the case, I don't even know if they've seen the one. that's how we're going to do it. I mean, they may well have, but there's only, let's face it, there's only so many ways that you can have a chamber, provide a positive and negative, and have an airflow. Yeah. There's, you, you can drill it in the side, you can put it underneath, you can put it anywhere you like, but eventually you're going to get... But in our eyes, I think the, the, the best way drip has come out is the air hole at the bottom. Yeah, yeah straight underneath that coil. Any ones that are coming from the side, they, they are good, don't get me wrong. The Argo F was amazing. When, with the right coil and the, the right air hole placement, the Argo F was an amazing vape. But it's not something that I, I mean, even I've been able to achieve. I've rewicked that thing a lot of times. And we did the video, I passed it to Worm, and he went, Jesus. And it was, an, at that particular moment in time, it was an absolutely amazing vape. We haven't had it that good since, though. No, it's been good, but not that level. It seems to be with the side air holes, Argo L, Argo W. Just even to some extent, your AGI as a dripper, you get the coil in them really well, and you think that's an amazing dripper. But 
You can't it's hit hard. it like that all the no. time. It, it's not an easy replication, whereas this, the, that, the way you put it into the post, the air hole is always in the same place underneath the same, well, even if it's difficult, it's always going to be roughly around the same spot and it just performs the same with different coils day in and day out. Yeah. And this this is the same as the Zeus, yeah. they both do that and this was what we wanted, this is why we got this, because we wanted something that was going to be as good as the Zeus and it is. the China, the Chinese have fucking done it and they? they have only gone and done it um, and made up for the shoddy materials with additional features, what can you say about that? I mean, for three pounds, put some more money on there. Give us a better look. That's all yeah, we really want. I'll pay twice the price for a stainless steel body. I tell you that right now. Um, it, it's, we recommend it. We, we, we definitely recommend it for three pounds sixty-four. It's a Zeus level vape. It really, really is. Uh, and praise doesn't from us come much higher than that until we find something better than the Zeus, which um, we're obviously searching for. So <laughs> it's got to be one of those ones, isn't it? Um, again, flat by fast tech. Watch our videos from Fast Tech if you want to know. Just go over to fasttech.com and have a little look. Yeah, oh, in terms of the yeah, amount of. They've got like 60 odd pages. Just go through them all, have a look what you want to get, whack it into the basket. That's what we do, and then assess what you really want afterwards. You've got to, because you can go through it, you can put what you like to look up in a basket and go, Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> £5,000. I'm not it's, it's the amount of stuff for electronic cigarettes they've got on there is astronomical. I, I, we said it in one of the other videos, you could take everything from every site that we visit regularly, put it all together, still only a mass, a ma even half the products that they have on that site for electronic cigarettes. Their liquid would probably outnumber that. Yeah. Stay away from their liquid, but their liquid but would outnumber the liquid it. But liquid is there, yeah. So it's, it's just, it's one of them sites you think, Jesus Christ, my dear God. Um, and the price is on there as well. But do take the time to go through it, guys. It is worth it. There are some hidden gems in there. Definitely, definitely. And their stock is updated every day. I think 15, 20 things have been added in the last six hours. Yeah. What the fuck? Why are we not doing this in this country? Get on it, UK. Ban it. Oh, they're trying to. <laughs> try that. Try as they might. They will not succeed. No. We will buy so much Chinese fast tech stuff that they would never be able to stop us. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> By the time the ban comes in in two years' time, we are literally going to have so much stuff that even if they did ban us, it wouldn't stop us vaping for life. Um, we, so. we really plan on buying loads of Nick, stick it in the freezer. See you in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs are good. And, um, right, guys, I think we've just gone on to some kind of ramble <laughs> now. Um, it is what it is, you know how we roll. Um, I think we're pretty much done. Are we done? What, anything else you want to talk about? Well, there are many things I'd like to talk about, but none of them are relevant today. So I think we're done. I think we're done. Um, right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Mr. Proton. This has been the worm. See you soon. <laughs> You're going to leave that in, aren't you? Yes. <laughs>